Do you want to take your foliage in Unreal Engine 5 to the next level? In this video, I'm going to show you how to manually set the LOD for your foliage so it looks great from any distance, and how to enable the new Nanite system on your foliage to increase your performance and FPS. With Unreal Engine 5's powerful rendering capabilities, it's easier than ever to create breathtaking natural environments, but if you want your foliage to look great up close and from a distance, you need to manually set the LOD. In this video, I'll show you how to do that step by step. And if you're worried about performance, don't be. With Unreal Engine 5.1's new Nanite system, you can enable it on your foliage and see a significant increase in performance and FPS. Not only will your foliage look great, but your game will run more smoothly than ever before. So, if you want to take your foliage to the next level and create realistic, stunning environments in Unreal Engine 5, then this video is for you. Get ready to learn some tips and tricks that will make your foliage stand out and keep your players coming back for more. So, you can see that the grasses which are close to our point of view are looking high quality and realistic, but the grasses which are far away from us are looking low quality. So in order to fix that, I'm going to change the mode to the foliage. And here are the meshes and the grass meshes that I've used in my project. So I'm going to select one of them. And let's scroll down and double click on this mesh. And you can see the editor window of this mesh. And let me tell you something. I think this is one of the bugs of Unreal Engine 5.1 because this editor window has some issues in lighting of the meshes. So I'm going to change the lighting mode from lit to unlit so we can better see our mesh. Okay, here I have my mesh and from this distance, I am set on the second level of detail. And as I move closer to my mesh, you can see that the level of detail is decreasing to zero. So it means that Zero is the highest quality of a mesh. And I think now you can better understand why you have such flickering areas in your projects on your grass meshes. So it is time to fix that. As you can see, here we have a section called LOD Picker. And I'm going to check this custom option and let's uncheck all of these LODs. And after that, all you need to do is to set this LOD numbers to one. And let's apply changes and you can see the results. Well, obviously the problem isn't completely solved because we fixed the LOD of one of the grasses that we used in our project. So what I'm going to do is to select the second grass mesh and do the same process on this one. Let's go to the LOD picker and check this custom, let's uncheck the LODs, and after that, set the number of LODs to one and apply change, and we are much more close to our desired result. And finally, the third one to fix the problem. Let's uncheck the LODs and set the number of LODs to one, apply changes. Okay, by doing that, you can see that all of the grass meshes that we used in our project are looking and appearing on high quality and the zero level of detail. Before we dive into enabling the Nanite system on Foliage, I just want to remind you to hit that subscribe button and join our community of Unreal Engine enthusiasts. By subscribing, you'll never miss out on the latest tips, tricks, and tutorials to help you take your projects to the next level. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's keep creating amazing things together. Okay, now it is time to enabling the Nanite system to increase our FPS and have more optimized projects in Unreal Engine 5. And you can see that here we have a section called Nanite settings. And all you need to do is to check this enable Nanite support option and Let's apply changes. And you can see that we have increased our FPS and I mean frame per second in our project by doing on 
one of the meshes that we use in our foliage and you have to do um, all of the meshes that you've used in your project so you will have more optimized and smooth projects all right thanks for watching don't miss out on the other videos on the channel to keep improving your unreal engine skills see you in the next one